Hello everyone, my name is Yuri Gubanov. I am from a company called Belkasoft and today I would like to show you a sneak peek of uh, our Evidence Center 2017 version 8.3. Here's the plan for today. First I will briefly introduce uh, the company uh, Belkasoft and uh, then I also briefly give you a, an overview of uh, what is Evidence Center about uh, for those of you who never seen the tool and then I'll go uh, to the main topic of today's webinar which is uh, what's new in the uh, upcoming version and then uh, we will uh, conduct a Q&A session first of all what is Belkasoft? Belkasoft uh, has a f number of offices. Uh, Belkasoft LLC is a United States ba based company uh, established in 2002 with the first pro forensic product in 2007. Uh, most of our customers are police and different uh, law enforcement organizations in more than 70 countries all over the world. We also have academic partnerships with many universities and colleges. Um, Belkasoft is a member of IASIS and HTCIA. We are sponsoring both organizations. We are HTCIA star supporter and IASIS titanium sponsor. Uh, we have uh, a number of customers in the United States, such as FBI, Secret Service, uh, uh, Department of Justice, DHS, uh, and many more. Also, uh, most uh, um, of uh, countries in Europe uh, and some other continents are uh, customers of Belkasoft. Uh, many d different f police departments, federal or state or uh, county police, are our customers. What is Belkasoft Evidence Center? Uh, this is a digital forensic product which supports all stages of, of your case, starting with acquisition. We support uh, acquisition of hard drives, mobile devices and clouds. And also uh, we support acquisition of uh, live RAM of a running Windows computer. We have uh, hardware which allows you to copy even badly damaged hard drives, uh, uh, hardware powered by our uh, partner called Atola. The product, uh, when you have a data source like a quiet hard drive or image or a smartphone dump, uh, the product then can extract and recover data for uh, hundreds of uh, products like emails, uh, documents, messengers, browsers, social networks, and so on and so forth. We can uh, analyze and recover deleted data. We can uh, uh, recover data from special areas from SQLite, from volume shadow copy snapshots, and so on and so forth. When you have data extracted and recovered, the product will continue analysis uh, it will index all the text data so you can search uh, just words or words from a reference file or do grab searches. You can find skin, faces and texts in pictures and videos. You can detect whether a picture was forged or not. You can build graphs uh, we which we call social graphs of how people inside your case were communicating and so on and so forth. And then you can conclude your case with a report and we support customizable reports in many formats. Uh, so you can create a report for the entire case or just for selected items, for bookmarks and so on. The product can analyze uh, more or less all uh, imaginable sources of, of data such as hard drives, images, mobile devices and dumps, virtual machines, uh, volatile memory, uh, special files like hibernation and page files and so on. Working on Windows, it can analyze most widespread operating systems such as Linux, Unix, 
uh, Apple operating systems, uh, Android and so on. One of the most favorite features of our product is out-of-the-box analysis for hundreds of artifacts. So you just click a few buttons and the product will find all this uh, variety of uh, artifacts for you such as documents, m hundreds of mobile apps like Tinder, WhatsApp, Viber, uh, Facebook Messenger and so on and so forth. Uh, the product can find, uh, um, can search browser history, system files like registries, event logs, jump lists, uh, link files, prefetch and so on. It will search media files such as pictures and videos. It can detect more than 220 types of encryption and if you have our decryption module it will also decrypt them. So this was a brief introduction of the product. Now let me show you what is uh, what's new in 8.3 and you'll ask what is the time frame for 8.3. The time frame is end of January so uh, it will be released right after everyone returns from Christmas and New Year uh, holidays. So no uh, long time to wait for the new release. So what's new? The new window dashboard, a handy window to manage your cases. Uh, improved task manager window. A number of improvements in social graph. Uh, internal links will show you, will help you to uh, answer the question where this or that artifact uh, was extracted from. Next is a long awaited uh, X64 version, which will help you to get rid of uh, memory issues on a huge cases with multiple data sources or with millions of artifacts extracted. And of course, a lot of usability features like new layout of uh, windows in the product, the new pro da data source editing screen, a uh, number of new filters uh, in place uh, filter creation. Let me show you how it works. Let me open the product. And immediately you can see the, the new window called dashboard. On the dashboard you can see all the recent cases uh, you had. Uh, you can click on them to review what was inside. Uh, but let me create uh, a new case. I will call it Christmas case. Create and open it. Uh, you see the new add data source screen. Uh, if you remember previously, uh, you were able only to add existing data source and for acquisition it was another screen. Now acquisition and adding existing data source is on the same screen. Uh, it also made a little bit nicer. It has touch interface so you can just click here or um, do it with your finger. Okay, let me also run hash set analysis for my case and I will investigate a folder. Okay, the screen remains the same. So now I uh, run um, analysis and you can see that on the taskbar it shows you quick overview of uh, tasks which are now running and their status. You can see that one task is already completes with error. Uh, as it goes you can see some new information appears. You can see the uh, pie chart with uh, uh, doc documents, uh, geolocation data and other artifacts found. So you can see how many uh, uh, artifacts of which types uh, are found. You can also see contacts found in your case and uh, at the top you can see data sources. Currently we have just data source samples for our samples folder. Uh, once analysis is completed you can double click on a contact or here on any uh, 
piece of uh, pie chart or here you can click on URLs or cookies and the product will automatically bring you to the overview window with corresponding data uh, inside. By the way, you can see that the second data source appears called Android AB. This is a nested data source. Uh, this is an Android backup stored in the samples folder. So you can easily uh, uh, overview all data sources, uh, the product analyzed, and you can easily see how many artifacts were found uh, in this or that uh, data source. Once the product uh, completes uh, its analysis, you can go to Overview or to Case Explorer or to File System and you can see what was uh, inside your analyzed uh, data sources from different perspectives. For example, um, I want to show you uh, our newly appeared internal links. For that, let me go to Case Explorer to instant messengers to Skype. The product finds a number of uh, uh, Skype chats and if I select any chat and go to item properties I can see a region, uh, a region path. So what I can see here is a case name then a data source name samples then uh, I can see the path to the profile file, to the mm, Skype database main DB. Then you can see messages, which is a table from where uh, this particular chat has been taken from. And you can see that uh, this message was not from exactly this table, but from the free list corresponding to that table. And last, you can see offset and length of uh, this chat. So when you are asked uh, where this or that artifact came from, you, ha you have an exact uh, answer to that question for each artifact. This is what we call internal URLs uh, and uh, this uh, appears in uh, version 8.3. Okay, next what I would like to show you is an improved task manager. Uh, those of you who are uh, already working with the product uh, know that the product shows you a whole bunch of different tasks when you analyze a, a really big hard drive or a mobile device. It's uh, literally hundreds or even thousands of tasks. Now we hidden uh, smaller tasks in bigger ones. So you can see, for example, uh, my analysis uh, task for my sample folder uh, is, is now a parent task of uh, smaller tasks like analysis of registry file, analysis of instant messenger profile, uh, estimation of size of uh, this uh, folder, searching and so on and so forth. Also, when we found a nested data source for a mobile backup, uh, it was created as a second task and you can see what uh, child tasks were executed by the product uh, in a course of investigation of that Android AB file. So no more thousands of tasks, you can see just three. Uh, one of them you run yourself, a second was uh, created automatically because we uh, found a second data source, nested data source, and third is just an uh, mm, analysis of what we have carved or what the product found in embedded uh, as embedded data, such as pictures in documents or documents in attachments. For that, the product uh, already uh, also creates a separate task. Okay, what's next is a connection graph. Let me see the connection graph. It looks like this. And there are a number of improvements. For example, now uh, the links from one person to another uh, are highlighted uh, better. Also, if I 
do like this I can see that uh, the product can uh, rebuild layout if you like and also when you when you select any item here it now has this uh, yellow circle around it so you can easily see what uh, what contact is now selected so when you select a contact it's shown uh, at the right when you select a link it shows you both contacts and shows you all the communications uh, between these contacts you can also do uh, uh, other tricks you can magnify uh, zoom in or zoom out you can uh, show weights it will show you those connections which have uh, more communications between uh, two uh, people you can also show and hide titles so you can see your graph uh, more clear so this was it for uh, today's uh, webinar uh, if you'd like to test the current version of the tool please go to belkasoft.com slash trial uh, so far we have version 8.2 there but in just uh, four weeks you'll be able to get the new release massively improved uh, if you'd like to get a quote or get a local support please uh, go to belkasoft.com slash quote or ask us for a reseller in your region we have resellers uh, in all um, more or less in all countries uh, so uh, we'll pick uh, up uh, uh, correct uh, company a good company for you uh, if you'd like to um, uh, ask uh, questions me personally you can uh, drop me an email to yugbelkasov.com or you can add me in LinkedIn uh, if you have any questions uh, please ask me in the chat window and before we go to Q&A session I'd like to uh, wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year on behalf of the entire Belkasoft team be healthy and wealthy in the upcoming 2017 and you can use Belkasoft Evidence Center 2017 already though it's 2016 yet thank you